Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you join me on a cold evening. It is, what time is it? 7.40 at night. It is freezing cold in my garage and I have a bit of alley welding to do today. So, I have some alley tube and some alley angle. And the reason why I say alley is because I struggle to pronounce aluminium. I can't say it for some reason. There's a few few words I can't say that I know off the top of my head. Aluminium, free, like I say, with lots of free, and uh, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi, I can't say it for the life of me, and I'm not even putting it on. So here's the material. It's, I believe, two, two or three mil thick, 75 by 75, and this here is outside diameter of I think 15.5 mil. Now I'm gonna be cutting it on my little band saw only because the big old miter saw, it's a bit too late. I don't wanna be making too much noise with that. Um, and I'm gonna be obviously TIG welding it with my beautiful little thermal arc. Love this welder. It's an inverter, a 202 ACDC machine with the gas will be from Hobby Weld. It's just 100% argon from Hobby Weld. Filler rods will be, oh, it doesn't say. 2.4 mil diameter. ER4030, 40, 43, I believe. So I originally went to the gym and I basically templated up what the wall looks like and I took measurements and photos and everything you can see the walls are pissed you can see one walls in front of the other wall and here's the size of the column so I'm going to translate this onto the table and then get measurements and cut this to suit sorry guys I'm jumping the gun a little bit and not even explaining what I'm making so my local gym has a a column an internal column in the building that is it's leaking there's there's a water leak that is persistently flowing down the column and pulling up on the floor now they've exhausted all options when it comes to physically trying to fix the leak they can't do it and now it's winter so you can't sort it out until summer at least but even in summer they can't do it so they've enlisted me they wanted help they wanted a internal gutter basically around the column to capture all of the water and divert it into another container how annoying it decides to snap right at the very end right at the very end the best idea i could come up with is what you're seeing now basically a piece of angle with but I, I, it's hard to describe angle with a tube welded to it that's simple to to describe but yeah that was that was the best don't get me wrong there is a lot of flaws in it there is a fundamental amount of flaws but ultimately this is a temporary bandage on something that should be fixed so i tried my best while also making it affordable i i sold these for i think around 300 pound each they took all in all a couple couple hours all in all the gym was local to my house um i installed it, it took like maybe an hour to install the two of them hour and a half as well as probably i can't remember off the top of my head two hours to make these it's yeah i wish obviously i could charge more but i couldn't justify even though even though it could have been justified but for me and my experience and my quality of welds and everything i couldn't justify charging more than 300 each for these maybe people who do this day in day out have a bit of, a better perspective on the price but for me yeah doing it in the evenings took a couple couple evenings to get it done and it was a little bit of pocket money in my pocket this is why i don't really get too involved with all of this alley welding because I've cleaned all of this but I've got dirty gloves and I've got no more clean gloves to, to do and the table's dirty and there's just so much pomp there's just so much pomp involved with this. But with that being said, that's why the design is the way how the design is and I didn't go too overkill with what I was doing and I kept it simple. 
when I installed it I angled everything over so gravity would naturally force the water to go down the, the tube if there's not enough water where it's only weeping the, the water will collect inside of it and then naturally evaporate and if there's a, a torrential rain and it, there's a flow of water that way there it's obviously going to fill up enough to drain down I, I, I can't help I wish I could have um, you know angled everything like a like a V but the extra complexity of having it go into a V I couldn't I couldn't put that onto the client you know the price and the extra time that it will take some of these welds um yeah i don't i don't alley weld that's another another reason why i done the price the way i did i don't alley weld so i do the best i can and then grind the rest i'm i'm okay with it what i struggle with without having a foot pedal like with these edge pieces i'm on too high of a power and it, it's always that dilemma do you stop mid weld turn on the power or do you just try to soldier your way through it and butcher the weld fortunately for me i was able to grind off most all of the welds really um originally i weren't going to i was going to leave the outside welds on because i thought it looked nice but that's the mindset of a welder looking to um leave your welds about but i guess for the the client they they don't want to know that it's been welded they just want it to be seamless so um yeah i think the welds came out i can i'm happy with them considering i do not alley weld much at all the next thing I've done, I um, obviously ground down the inside so it's a nice flow. You're not going to see the inside so the welds, I kind of rushed them a little bit and um, grinding, i done as much as I could grind in. I used a die grinder to get the edges but the tip was blunt so, you know, it was the best I could. This was a tip that I learned from a guy, plumber's tallow, beautiful thing, put it over your stuff and it stops your stuff getting clogged up. Which is why I was able to, you know, grind off all of these things. But yeah, like I was saying, I grind down the inside. I don't do it to a high, high standard. No one's going to see it. I just need to make sure that there isn't anything restricting the, the flow of the water. So I grind down the inside. Later on, I grind down the outside, which I didn't want to. But again, like I said, you want to make it look seamless and flawless. One thing I do definitely need to invest in though if I do more of this alley welding is a foot pedal. I find I find it just difficult maintaining one power through all of the welds. It's you know, it's it's hit on hit and miss. If you if you put too much heat in it, now the welds coming out a bit crap. Um if the material thins out or you start coming to the end, there ain't really much you can do to to save yourself. So I do I do need a foot pedal. Hopefully that should be coming soon. I'm welding on the end caps. They were completely forgot about. Completely forgot about them. I only remember to put them on at the last moment. I I didn't want to take the chance and, and make this go f completely flush against the back of the wall. So I decided to put caps on it just so I can seal it all up around and leave it a little bit short because it's normally the, the water's dripping down the front surface, not the sides as much. So it's on here now. You can see the, the scratch mark is where the wall location would be. Right here is what mounting brackets I'm gonna be using. Believe it or not, I've had this one here in my drawer for I think over a year since I, I done the first one of these. So yeah, you can see that's this is what the wall is gonna look like. I guess it'll be more clear if I put it this direction. So that's the wall. I, I left the gap because I don't, I, I know I can um, seal that gap up with silicone and I don't want to make it not fit. I could make it completely flush and tight, but there is absolutely no need. A nice fillet of silicone is perfectly fine. It's all in, indoors. So here's the mounting bracket and all I need to do is this, put it there center punch the location and then weld this on which is this massive long piece on top of my bike now listen i've i've got headphones on so i can't hear myself and i'm probably going to be talking weird listen here this isn't perfect it's not trying to be perfect i could have beveled everything so it, it drains in there what i do i lean it slightly 
to the side so it drains down that side and I could put this in the corner but this is tucked nicely up against the side out of the way and ultimately the building is flooding the column is dripping water you don't want it going down the column this is going to collect it whether it sits inside the alley until it evaporates on a heavy flow it's going to obviously overflow and drip down which is what we're going to want but it's fine trust me it's fine so take it from me after installing it and editing it and talking to you now it worked out perfectly fine couldn't have answered it to, be, to go any better i angled this this piece here preemptively on a on a pissed angle so i know that that can go vertically down with a laser level and it's going to look nice and then it's going to give the right amount of slant to the gutter i guess i um you know welded outside and i put a nice little ceiling run on the inside just so i know it's not going to leak from there here is a surprise visit from the little man and this is why i never get any work done anymore because right now i need to um to stop doing what i'm doing because he's come home and the rest of the evening is dedicated to the boy isn't it yeah yeah he's seen the rc car so this will be getting painted probably uh. i've seen the bike now this will probably be getting painted tomorrow and installed the day after or maybe i might put him back in and see if i can't sneak another hour or so out here because it is what time is it quarter past eight yeah? Where are you going? Oh. What's the matter? We spotted the bike. Come then, let's go outside. Go and do some off road. Off road walking. Yeah, that's it. Step on it. Good boy. That's the story of my life. Putting fatherhood first over work delaying videos for you guys but here it is it's finished so this is the final product it is installed i didn't record the install so it's, it's a working gym quickly right here this is not how it, it the final product is i used my phone to see how the silicone was looking because i was doing it blind i could not reach how tall it was so i touched that up and i made it look nicer by the end ultimately you can't see and it's not pretty but it looks better than what it is on the video and this here was the smaller one i made and now this is the second bigger one i made because they wanted a bigger reservoir with that being said thank you very much for watching and i will see you a lot in the next video i'm actually proud of myself for this one so a customer had a weeping leak on their roof and it was running down the column they couldn't fix it so i turned up there i made a wooden template of their wall because their wall wasn't exactly square i took it home traced it onto my table and then made basically a gutter for their leaking column it was a fun little project to do i'm not really um a fabricator like this too much uh, I'm, I'm more into pipe welding but needs must so yeah i was working in my little home garage welding it all up got it pretty nice and then i went back to the back to the customer to find out where this drain hole should be um, marked it up took it home drilled the hole and sprayed it and and installed it and it came out pretty pretty well so all of the angles are sloping backwards to this hole as well as sloping to the right so all the water drains down here they can use a bucket and there is a bung at the bottom so they can empty out any water that it collects